Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Orlando, Florida this morning at the 2018 PGA Merchandise Show, spending some time with Titleist. I'm with Frederick Waddell. We're talking golf balls. And Frederick, all you got to do is look at the big board behind us and your domination when it comes to premium golf balls. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's pretty remarkable. Pro B1, Pro B1X, going on two decades now and still going strong. And we got a neat display behind us. Tell us a little yeah, about what we're looking at I mean, at this here. is kind of a, a catalog of, of Pro V1 over time. This is a, a, a golf ball from every one of Justin Thomas's wins going back to when he was uh, nine years old. His, his father, Mike, who's a Titleist staff member in Kentucky, uh, keeps a ball from every win. And, and you can see, you know, the, the original Pro V1 actually up there. Uh, when he was eight and nine, winning tournaments in Kentucky, all the way down to 59 in Hawaii last year, the PGA Championship. It's really neat to see what he's been able to accomplish using our golf ball. Pretty remarkable. Now, the new version of Pro V1 came out in early 2017, Pro V1, Pro V1X. There were a couple of changes. So what we want to do is give our second swing customers some insight into picking the right one for them. Yeah. You know, obviously they can get out and test it on the course, but if they're going to buy a couple dozen, Take, tell us a little bit about the differences between Pro B1 and Pro B1X. Yeah, and, and when you do make a golf ball decision, we encourage you to go test on the course. Um, we also have mobile fitting teams, three mobile fitting teams around the country that fit golfers into golf balls. We fit over 52,000 um, golfers in the U.S. into Titleist golf balls last year. Um, so go to our website. You can find out when the van's going to be in your area. Um, but if you want to decide between Pro V1 and Pro V1X, it really boils down to flight, feel, and spin. Okay. Both of them provide the best total performance in the game, but you can get dialed in to the right model based on how you kind of see your, your game in terms of flight, feel, and spin. So flight, Pro V1X flies higher than Pro V1. Feel, Pro V1X is firmer than Pro V1. And spin, Pro V1X spins more than Pro V1. So if you're looking to take spin out of your game and you want to lower your ball flight a little bit, have a little softer feel, Pro V1 is going to provide that optimal trajectory spin and feel. If you're someone who needs to get the ball up in the air, wants to spin it a little more, Pro V1X is going to fly higher and spin more. So those three flight feel spin characteristics are the key differences between them. Um, but ultimately it comes down to, to testing on the course. Yeah, great stuff. And one thing that I think is worth pointing out is obviously this golf ball dominates ball counts, PGA Tour, every professional tour, all the top amateur events. But you guys firmly believe that this isn't just a ball for a better golfer. This is a great ball for any player of ability level. That's exactly right. You know, the, the, the best players in the world and 10, 15, 20 handicaps, they're all looking for the same thing, which is long distance, soft feel, spin into and around the greens. That benefits everybody. And the technology that we put into Pro V1 and Pro V1X is there to promote all those things. So the things in Pro V1 that benefit a, a tour player are the same things that an amateur uh, of any ability will benefit from. That's great information. So Pro V1, Pro V1X, if you're trying to decide, there you got it straight from the source. Frederick, we appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks. Chris.